I said I wasn't going to do this, but here I am at Highland Cemetery yet again. Another section of it anyway. I wasn't going to come out here because of the snow, but it seems to be, like I said, very little at this point. So I figure, hey, why not? You know, I couldn't really tell you what section I'm at. I don't know it that well, but... But, here we are, just taking another stroll, it's about 36 degrees, 36 degrees, so I figured, hey, you know, why not? Not much new to report, unfortunately. I did end up going to the, uh... First Fridays last night, which is something that downtown South Bend does. It's like every Friday of the month, the first Friday of the month, they uh, put on some kind of event downtown. Usually, uh, they have to go with the flow of whatever the weather is. So they had a ice sculpture, sculptures. I don't know what you want to call them, ice artists. I don't know, but they were doing ice sculptures out. Um, out there along the main Michigan Street and then they had uh, had some fire dancers out there too which I thought was pretty cool and they were roasting marshmallows for the kids and it was always a free event I mean it was it, it, it was something to do I guess you know but usually they have something like I said every first Friday of the month they usually got something going on so I thought that was kind of cool. We went to the uh, Fielder's Hearth before that for some Din Din. They got some new menus out there. But I think the food's pretty much the same. I guess she's, the waitress said they took a couple things off that just weren't selling. but Or weren't very popular, I should say. But that was pretty much how I spent my evening yesterday. After going to the flag store in Mishawaka, and they are willing to, I mean, they actually have um, flags that are, that would fit my staff, so I just gotta, like, take my, what I have, and have them fitted, make sure they, make sure they hang on right. They've done funeral coach flags before, so that's kind of cool. Um, one of the funeral homes here locally uses that store for their flags so I think I might have just uh, I think I might just stick local now you know of course if I need something that they don't have I'll have to go elsewhere but I definitely want to get some I want to get some bigger flags I think I don't know I don't know what the customary size is supposed to be but but I did that was uh, I guess a successful trip you know couldn't find any more cinnamon coke at that Dollar General, though. She told me their coke representative uh, was supposed to take it all back, whatever they don't sell. So I was like, well, shoot. But Always next year, I guess. I'm going to savor what I got. So yeah, other than that, I didn't really do a whole lot. I guess that was my... <laughs> Pretty much my Friday in a nutshell. Watched a movie. I couldn't remember what the hell it was called. It's pretty good. Pretty funny. A little kind of weird, but 
but I'm not really sure where I'm going as usual. But but it's cool to see the animal tracks out here, though. You can see they did a Yui here, a Yui. Anyway, I'm not out here hunting anything. So, what else is going on <laughs> since yesterday's rant? Probably nothing really. When the sun was out earlier, it's pretty cool. Still kind of out, I guess. Well, sort of. Not really. I don't know who I'm kidding. But. I guess I could go to the other side of that road for the heck of it. Yeah, out here getting some shots, you know. Nothing else really exciting today. I don't think. I just refilled my prescriptions and updated my insurance for the year. Which was good, because it locked, actually made my prescriptions cheaper. Which I didn't think that was going to happen, but it sure did. So that's always cool, you know. I really do like those bench stones, those are cool. So, oh, I had a, uh, I think it was uh, last night before, when I got home from going to the the international flag store I went ahead and well I said like I said I went home parked and uh, I don't know I went outside the garage for some reason I don't remember what the hell I was trying to do but things just straightened up a little bit and just, uh, had a, some guy in a 1972 suburban ambulance <laughs> pulls up I'm like, okay, and he stops like right in front of my house. I'm like, okay, again, I didn't, I didn't call you, but it's a cool truck. I never actually seen a suburban ambulance before. He said he bought it out of Minnesota off eBay. He would not disclose the price, but that's okay. I didn't really ask, but I guess the sirens and all the lights and all that stuff still work. So I went ahead and posted that on a ambulance enthusiast's group or page that I'm with so I thought that was kind of cool we talked a bit uh, he said yeah I just I was driving down Edison or Elwood or the hell it is and uh, he's like yeah man I uh I saw your hearse in the driveway the silver one he goes so I just had to find a place to turn around and I turned around and I figured I'd stop. I was like, oh, well, that's cool, man, you know, whatever. And so we got to talking, and I guess his dad's got a couple uh, collectible cars, show cars, whatever. Studebaker, I think, or something. And fully uh, restored, I guess. But so I thought that was cool. The ambulance is cool. I got some pictures of it. But. Changed a little uh, information, so 
I'm sure I'll see him or hear from him again, or I'll get a hold of him or whatever the case, but I thought that was kind of cool. It's amazing what the kind of people that stop by when you have a hearse in the driveway all the time, but, you know. And it seems like every once in a while I get like, um, I don't know, like, what was it, last week or two weeks ago? It was early in the morning, like nine something in the morning, and someone's pounding at my door. I'm like, what the? But by the time I get up and check out the window, he's already scurrying back to his car. I don't know what the hell he wanted. He didn't leave a note or anything, but I was like, wow, I wonder what he wanted, you know. But, and since I'm out here, um, for you who are uh, native to South Bend or Mishawaka or uh, a fan of uh, the University of Notre Dame's football program, uh, those, those of you who don't know, which was kind of my original intention for coming out here, I had to map it, but um, one of their legendary coaches is buried out here, uh, Newt Rockney. Um, I actually just stumbled upon his, his, his grave here. I can't believe I didn't see it until now, but I'm sure it's popular, but I'm going to go ahead and show it here now for those of you who haven't seen it, or didn't know it was out here, but here he is, legendary football coach, University of Notre Dame, 105 wins, 12 losses, and 5 ties, a dynamic, innovative leader who captured America's imagination. He was a builder of champions in football and in real life. This is a replica of the one in Oslo, Norway, at his birthplace. Oh, cool. Wow, that's really good. March 4th, 1888 to March 31st, 1931. Wow. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty unique. And hopefully I can tell by the by the tracks out here that he gets probably quite a bit of visitors. As you know, we are in Notre Dame country after all, so... But even if you're not a fan, it's still pretty cool. I'm actually, uh, I don't know, maybe somebody knows, but I'm actually surprised he's not buried out at Notre Dame. But maybe he's got his reasons. Maybe his family had his reasons, but... But yeah, he's got this, uh, like gravel walkway up there, too. Which is different. Definitely different, but... So anyway, that was kind of a cool... But I found it. Like I said, I had to map it, and basically the map had me park there, which I don't know if you can tell how far away that is. It was actually not bad. Pretty close. But it told me it was on that side. That's why I was over there in the first place. Because honestly, with the snow, I'd rather just walk on the roads and maybe just give a, a uh, change the zoom here a little bit. I'll just do it that way. But whatever. doesn't matter, I guess. Just gonna ramble, like I usually do. I don't know how long I'm gonna be out here, but so yeah. Other than that, nothing too exciting to report. I don't think I have any. I mean, aside from the South Bend show, I really don't think I have any uh, major events coming up or anything like that. Look at all these Christmas wreaths still out here. It's amazing how people have just, you know, I mean, it's not amazing, I guess. It's great that people come out here and, you know, keep up with their family or friends or whatever the case may be. I think it's kind of cool. You know, it's respectable. Anyway. But, uh, it's like my mom and me, or my mom and I, whatever, the, whatever. We take care of uh, my father's grave and then her, some of her family members and, uh, her best friend who passed away a couple of years ago. We take care of, uh, they're all in the same cemetery, so it's kind of cool. Or at least convenient. So we take care of that. Every season. So I'm thinking, come late March, early April, we'll be out there again. Taking the Christmas stuff down. Or whatever. She takes care of all the decorating. I just take care of all the, you know attaching it so it doesn't get blown away or sticking it on the ground or whatever the case may be. 
Usually we don't have any problems with out there though. Because they're all out there at uh, Notre Dame Cemetery. I almost thought I got <laughs> turned around. I was looking around, I was like, where the hell did my truck go? I did get turned around. Because it's back there. Like magic. Doesn't seem like it. But anyway. So we'll just go around again and think about what else I want to talk about. You know, such a chatty Kathy I am. Graceland. I thought it would be bigger. Ooh, that's a pothole. It's like a pool. So... Yeah, really, the only thing I've been, like, I don't want to say excited for, because that's not the case, but that, uh, I'm excited for spring. I know I talk about this all the time. Because I want to try out that pressure washer I bought from Walmart for 50 bucks. It was on clearance, regularly 149 99 It's one of those, uh, I don't know what the hell brand that it even is. Sun Joe, I think. 2000 PSI. And to top it all off, it comes with a, uh, actually comes with a foaming cannon, which now that I have two of them because Candace got me one for Christmas, and it comes with different attachments and all that, but, so I guess there's nothing wrong with having an extra, but, so I thought that was kind of cool, I want to try that out, and then I want to try, uh, some different uh, products that I probably, well I'm not probably, I'm definitely going to be getting in the mail probably next week. I, uh, Chemical Guys had a Valentine's Day special, it was like a mystery box. So I actually got it, ordered it in time before they sold out. I don't know, it was like 49, 50 bucks. And they're claiming it's worth 79, 80 bucks, so they just stuff it with a bunch of merchandise. So I might actually get some stuff I never used, which would be kind of neat. Or I may get a lot of stuff I already have. Either way, I do get the, I mean, it comes in a bag, in like a tote bag for their, which I already have a black one. And this one's red, because it's for Valentine's Day. And my initial thought was, well, damn, I can keep the red one with the Monte Carlo and the black one with the Cadillac. Ooh. So, actually, fits pretty well, you know. I guess. I don't know. Works out well, I guess I should say. So, I'm going to do a video on that when it shows up. I'm going to do, like, an unboxing video, which, <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I just put whatever the hell I want to on this channel. I figure, like I said, it's more for my benefit, I think. Something I've always wanted to do. I do a lot of YouTube following and watching, so I'm like, you know what? I just want to have a channel, too. I don't care how really how big it gets, but pause on that. But I figured I just put on whatever the hell I want to. That way it kind of broadens your audience. At least that's what I think it would do, but who knows? I'm actually walking back to the truck. And, uh, probably gonna wrap this up. It's, God, these videos go so long, I don't really mean for that to happen. I just start rambling. And I always pull up to these things, you know, blue skies. And I'm always like, and I get out of the car or whatever, and I'm like, man, what am I gonna talk about? And then, lo and behold, I always find something to talk about, so. Oh, well. I guess it's better than just walking around and not hearing anything. So. Anyway. I guess I'll uh, talk to y'all later. I'm going to do one more pan around before I hop in the truck. And yeah, This is a huge cemetery, man. I don't, like I said, it goes on the other side of the street, which I haven't even done yet. But it's close to home, too. Not that that matters, but I don't know. I'm still rambling even though I said I was going to leave. All right. 20 minutes is long enough. See y'all.